Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay! Oh! Of course! Ah, man, it was right in front of my face. Hello, everybody! My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Franbo. I was missing a piece. I just didn't know what piece I was missing. I was missing this plank of wood, and now it all makes sense because the message that I'm missing is the message in the bottle. And this isn't the place that I need that. I need it over in the other place. So I need the message in the bottle because I bet the message in the bottle has the recipe for the soup that's going to tell me exactly what I need to do. And then I'm going to need to be able to do that. So. That was easy to overlook, but I do- I do kind of blame myself for that one. That was a little stupid on my part. I- I just didn't spastically click everything that I possibly could, so... Welcome back to Fran Bo, everybody. Now it's time to calm it back down a little bit. Come on, it'll work. Trust me, it'll work. There we go. Now I can use the knife to cut that down, get exactly what I need, and it'll probably make me use the tweezers to get it out of the bottle. Which is another thing that I need, which is another reason. See, it's like, it's like everything doesn't make sense until I get the one little thing left that I need. So that's exactly- Oh. Froggy. Kermit, why? Why was that necessary? That burned, why? There's no fire. Okay, okay, then. Ah, uh, maybe this. Boink! Got it, easy enough. I got the paper, this is so exciting! That's why I need the tweezers, not just to get out of the bottle, I guess. Okay, exam on. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram, a blue-bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, hair of the person you want to bewitch, Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water. Put the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person you want to be witch. Repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Bonte ir irkrim or ir bigma or ibur nam ibur ir gwanta ni ir grama bigma of my de dima go of me ebe ir dish now de be momeg boo liber minim is now oh. If you play that backward, you get a special message. Okay, so I got almost everything on the list except blood of the executor, which I believe is me, and then hair from the person I want to bewitch. So I gotta find hair of theirs, and then put everything else in the pot beside. wait, put everything in the pot besides... Fill the cauldron with hot water, put the other melons in it, which is... Blah, all of this, I'm pretty sure. So I need to find a way to get all of that, but I bet on their pillow is where it would make sense that there would be. And that's why this is here. Oh, I need to put the ashes first. So put the ashes. There we go. La 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 la. Just like that. Woo, this worked out great. Nicely done, Fran. Good, just don't walk over it. Okay, so the candles are there. So I bet I can get hair from her pillow. And I'm pretty sure blood of the executor would be me. I'm just, just guessing here, so I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it would be something over here. So, it's gotta be on her pillow, it's, it's gotta be, that, that, it's the only thing that makes sense. Maybe brush up, uh, maybe I can use the broom to sweep up something? There's gotta be a way to get hair, there's gotta be like a brush or something in the makeup kit or something around here. This stuff, I guess I'll be very girly when I grow up. There's gotta be something here. There's, I'm- I'm very close. I'm very close. Okay, so maybe, uh, let me just get this out of the way. I'm pretty sure that I need to take this and retype it up so that they know exactly what they're gonna do. So, this is me being a sneaky young little girl, and this is going to fool them because apparently they haven't been staring at the spell for years and years and know exactly what it says. Hair from your head. Oh! So that's how I'm gonna get their hair. That- it seems pretty obvious. I mean, hair from your head doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, it is what it is. So, okay. I have all of that. I can't believe they're trusting me to just make this, but oh well, you know what? Whatever. So, once I get that, I'm going to have that, and then I need to put my blood into the pot, and then that's probably the last thing that I need. I can bring it all to a boil. I can call. The oh, hi. Fran. Here are the materials you need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. 
I learn them fast. Let them know when you're ready. Oh god. Oh no. What's in the What's in the bag? Psst, girl. I think you'll need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. Oh, that's not your voice. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. A little bit of Rocky in him. I think, Adrian, you didn't see me. Bye. Adrian! Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, so he's not even leaving me the choice in this. So I imagine that was the head of the virgin. I guess it better not have been the cat. That's all I gotta say about that. Let me just pop outside to see if there's anything over there. Okay, so there's obviously nothing out here. I'm pretty sure I know what I need. And what I need is to put everything into this bucket. So, salt and pepper, blue moonlight rose, and then my own blood. And that should be everything. Can't believe salt and pepper is a part of this. Why? Okay, put that in there. Okay, blue moonlight rose, boink. Goodbye, blue rose in the pot now, and then a little bit of my own blood. Ow! Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so now I got that. That hurts. But now I have my blood. Use on that. Okay, so there goes my blood. I hope it tastes good. tra la la la, -la. Okay, uh, so I don't need the knife anymore, but I have the knife. Okay, so that should be everything. Blood from the executor, salt and pepper, blue moon rolls in there. Draw a pentagram. Put a lighted black candle on every point. Fill a cauldron. Put the other elements. Boil. Pour over the person you want to be a witch. Repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. All right, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be doing this, but I, I, I guess I got. Let me see what there's. What is there left to do? There are some missing ingredients like the hair. So I need to show them the thing of the hair so I can get their hair. Then I'll be able to know. Do I need to light the candles? Is a question. Put a lighted candle. So I need to light the candles. That's another question. So use this on the candles. Hadouski. Okay, so those those are all lit. The pot's boiling. I just need their hair. So I need to show them the thing. Then I'll be able to do what I need to do. Okay. So if I show them this tampered bad recipe. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There, now get prepared. So I got their hair. Okay. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, so now that I got their hair, I put that in the pot. I wait for them. They're probably going to come over automatically. And then they still trust me with this. This is very weird. Dark hair from the twin's head. Okay. Got it. Got he. Okay, so put that in there. Now the hair good. Okay, that should be everything, right? I should show the girls the potion is ready. I made the most incredible magic potion in the world. I don't know about that. Maybe I should examine the words. Okay, good enough. Probably. I'll probably be fine. I mean, don't they know that they have to drink it? That's part of the recipe that they know, but I have to pour it over them. I guess. Yeah, let me just double check this because this doesn't seem right. Pour over the person you want to be which. Oh, I don't need them to be on the pentagram, I suppose. So if I just use this on them and say the words, everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Oh, they're going to. Oh, okay. Let's go. La da 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 da. Well, I mean, I would have thought that they would have used my cat if they got all the ingredients. That's. Uh, so if I. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Why are they trusting me with this? This is not okay. Okay. The words are, I hope I don't have to remember that. All right. Here we go. Boink. <laughs> they know they have to drink it. It's their, <laughs> it's their recipe. And now I'll say the words. <laughs> it's just a 10 year old walking around in a circle. <laughs> This is what you get for messing with my cats. Wait a second. 
That is not the right spell. You tricked us. Uh oh. A floosh. Oh boy. Well, that looks interesting. Oh! Oh, okay! All right, then, that was easier than I thought. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. No joke. The key, now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. Oh, all right, then why did I have the baking soda? Why did I have the baking soda? Baking powder to make soft dough bigger. Were, were th some of these just red herrings? Like the, the broom and the thing? Like, why? I don't know. Well, that kitty better be there and alive. That kitty better be up there and alive and fine. Because otherwise it's going to be very sad. Oh, boy. Alrighty then. Kitty. Oh, you're fine. Okay, good. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Goody, you're free, kitty! What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The, the key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yeah, I did. I actually remember it. It was in the it was in their room. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. I, I remember it. It was above their mirror in the room. At least that's the only keyhole that I can distinctly remember. There is a keyhole up there. I can't believe I remembered that one. Okay. Oink! Puzzle. I'm good at puzzles. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, it's a dragging. Okay. Wait, what exactly am I trying to do? What's- wait, I don't know what the end goal is. Huh? Wait a minute. What? I guess I have to open this thing, but how? Uh... Well, I mean, there aren't exactly any instructions here. How do I know exactly what I'm doing? Oh, okay, the gear. I thought those gears were fixed points. Oh, okay, that, that makes more sense. Okay, so if I have the gears, but apparently that gear position did not work. Okay, this one can't be moved, obviously. Okay, so all of these, oh, all these are gears. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, now I got it. This is going to take me a while. Let's just fast forward through this. There we go, got it. Oh, hi. Oh! Well, that's a weird safe. What is this? Two skeletons? Mm, interesting, yes. Something tells me those tw Oh my god. Sister promise we, Clara and Mia Buhalemt, promise to revenge the unfair destiny Itward decided for us. Itward was the, 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 the word that was in the bottom dungeons of the uh, insane asylum. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Okay, but this, this girl had duotine as well. But duotine was scratched off! And it's another chemical that's in there, so she must have also been in the asylum. But then again, all this doesn't seem like it'd be weird. It'd be, you know, real. Okay. Mother must die. Ew. All right. Who's Itward? Girls are very strange. I wonder why they hated each other so much. Two-headed doll must be really old doll. Also quite dirty. I guess it's dirty. I guess it's because they played with it a lot. My toys are also a bit dirty. I miss playing with my doll house. Now this is getting really interesting. So pink and blue they did. Weird. Hmm. Oh man. Bizarre. Anyway, I got the key. Enough looking at that. That is so weird. So, like, now I'm to the point where I'm starting to question exactly what's real and what's not. Because obviously, or it seems obvious that this is not real, but also it could be a ten-year-old's imaginative interpretation after her mind is rattled with drugs. Oh man. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty! It worked! Come out, let me hug you! Yay! Oh, it's a tearful reunion! I hope it doesn't go bad. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's such a cute kitty! How can this go wrong? That's all I can think. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. 
You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Okay. We need to get home, Kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far. I hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. I can help you. Okay, cool. Let's see, Mr. Midnight, do you have any ideas on how to get out of this place? I'm sorry, I don't. Maybe somebody else has some ideas. Like a froggy fru? Maybe the baby's in here? I don't know. Whoa. That's different. Oh, a sleepy doll. Would you please sing for me? That's a weird request. You don't want to? Well, that's okay. I can sing for myself. Why is there a big old two there? There's a two there, and there was a two also inside the mirror. Stop licking yourself, kitty cat. Not appropriate. You're a, you have an audience. People are watching. Oh, hey, kitty. Okay, so there's bound to be something else. But let me just see, because there was a two. I don't know if that's just a common theme, or if I just look at that. There's a two right there on their chest. Or on the doll's chest. So I don't know if that actually means something, but... Okay, so there's gotta be a way out of here, but the only other person in here to ask... Is Mr. Froggy outside this window? Hello, Mr. Frog. I did it, Sir Toad! The girls are gone! That's perfect! Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite horrible, ah. it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Ah, moldable, you say? Baking powder to make soft dough bigger and beautiful. A little ten-year-old would probably think that this would be able to... Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft, like dough. I am a ten-year-old. You're right. It may work. Here, here I go. <laughs> oh, hi. Well, then. It worked. I'm... I'm really big. I feel so big and gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, Kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh, he found the picture. Oh, thank you, Mr. Toad. And this book went with it, too. Leon? Who's Leon? Oh, Toad, you found my family photo! Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. He has many pictures. Wow, thank you. Life lessons from Mr. Toad. I like the pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight! Oh, God, that does not look as fun as I thought it'd be. Why do you have to shout the entire time we're swimming? Thanks, Mr. Toad, nonetheless. I appreciate your efforts. Really is helpful for me. Oh! Oh, it's Frogger! Is this claymation? Oh, that's amazing! I love claymation! Okay, so do I... I, I know what I gotta do, and I can get an achievement if I do this right. Okay, so... Hop on the log. Okay. Quick moves here. Boing, 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 boing. Done! I'm a G! Oh, more. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, okay, good. I get to do it again. I was hoping. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ha! Okay, I gotta wait for the next one, because this one's not gonna do good. I love the claymation style. That's actually really cool. Ha! Perfect. Exactly when I needed it. Okay. So there's gotta be more. This is really cool! No, legitimately, this is like... Oh, whoops. No, right, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I hope I don't have limited lives on this. But this is legitimately really cool. 
if this is actually claymation, I would be very impressed. It looks like it. But you never know. They could be. Oh. That was my ride. Damn it. Ew. I'm a froggy. Burr. Burr. Uh oh. Burr. Burr. There we go. Okay. Hey, Toad on board. I got an achievement. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm not getting all the achievements. I know that for damn sure, but I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Toady Woady. Wait, is he a toad or a frog? Well, he must be a frog. Wait, no. Toads? Frogs like water more. I don't know. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Thank you, Mr. Toady Froggy. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, sir, soon, sir Toad. I knew it was Mr. Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. And Kitty didn't have to scratch her eyes out. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, we're almost done, I guess. I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Meow. Oh, Kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? Hehe, <laughs> I think I would like the same. Oh, man, I bet people don't picture me as a ten-year-old girl right now. The voice is just a little too deep. Oh. oh, I forgot. Now I can take the pills with reckless abandon. Oh, hello again. Did you get tangled, you silly heads? Sir, are you the curious insects that get stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe they're not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Well, that's lovely. Wait, there was something... What is that? What is that? There's something there! What is that? There's something there, okay. Anyway. Crossing away we go! Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright? Then you can follow me. Oh, are we gonna get separated? Alright, kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Not good. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Gonna fall. Gonna fall. Oh, gonna fall! Oh. Kitty? Come on, Fran! Come on, Fran. Let's go. I'm waiting for you. Fran, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Scratch its eyes out! Uh-oh. Oh, well, at least we're together. I think he waved by as we fell into the abyss. Thanks, buddy! Oh, my dear, I can't hold it anymore! I don't want to die! Oh, no. Uh-oh. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump! I- I'd love to! All right, here I go! Hibbi! I got you. Oh no! You don't! Oh, it was just a kitty! He doesn't have opposable thumbs! I really thought he had me! Oh no! Oh, what a sweet kitty! Oh, what a sweet... Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will rise. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please. Please. Oh, crying. Whoa, hey. 
Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Oh, oh gosh. That's not good. So I imagine this whole time I've actually still been in the asylum. Oh, it's daylight! Uh-oh. Oh no. All of Fran's clothes are scattered about. Uh... Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran? Where are you? Now I play as a kitty? Cool. Oh, I do play as a kitty! Oh, look at my little kitty spot! These are Fran's stockings. This is one of Fran's shoes. Sorry if that sounded gross. Excuse me, sorry. Pardon me. It's a kitty. She likes a sniff. No? Nothing about that? You're not gonna paw that? Okay. Fran's shoe. Okay, so that's all the time I have for this episode. This is getting very weird, but it's broad daylight out, and I don't know what that is in the background. Maybe we're all seeing this from a cat's perspective now. Like, oh, that log has a face on it. I did not notice that. Hello. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that you? It, it can't be. What is it, my dear? What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree. Dun, dun, dun. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Uh-oh. Fran, wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear. This, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you were a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Oh, hi. Whoa. Hey. Okay. Omka im gnimi hula. Kolke kolke igrunma. Pasku halani. Igna jolka kvanti. Are they speaking in the spell language? Sounds like gibberish to me. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Howla kolka hola. Stop it. I'll scratch you. Hollerun my igni. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hola! Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm! Hola, Igni Vanti! Kitty, help me! Find my purse, please! Maybe I can do something about this! I'll see what I can do, Fran. Hello. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. Oh, is that all I'm gonna say about that? I can't really understand what you're saying. Stop attacking my friend. Okay, so I gotta find the purse. Okay, where is the purse? I'm guessing it's in the other way over there. I have no idea, but you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one. I'll be right back. I'll find it, my dear. Okay, what about this one over here? You haven't said much. I don't even remember the voices that I assigned to these guys. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. That also flew. I, I do remember that. Things are getting a little weird around here. Oh, okay, there's the purse. Oh, that was handy. Oh, okay. So... Maybe I could use one of these crystals to jam the gears? Uh, I have a stone! Can I use it? There we go. Okay, I needed to use the crystal with that. Okay, so now it should stay and shouldn't be able to go back. Got the purse? I got the purse. Only because I'm the best. Be because, be because, oh, I can't even speak, but I'm a kitty, so it's amazing that I can speak at all. Okay. So now. Uh oh. Fran? Fran? Uh oh. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Mr. Midnight is the best. 
Now, show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okie dokie then. Ooh, what is it? But first, what is this? A mysterious book. I can't read it because I'm a cat. Ulanum ni haku. Ah, runma. Paskin ulta. Okay, fine then. Oh, hello. Well, huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Uh, okay. I guess we're gonna go fly off into the distance then. They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Okay, Rune, Epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please! Don't leave me! I will be right here with you. Galatma, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should stop shouting out their gibberish because it doesn't make any sense to me either. But it's important for the story, so I will still narrate. That's basically all I'm doing here. Chapter 3, Vegetative State. Oh good, we're starting off with a pun. Always best when we start off with a pun. Like every conversation with Wade ever. Oh hello. Hi. Itman Balman Koast Be. Zyar. Oh, this is still the little guy. It be Gurushka. Imitan Ulfrio. I feel like I'm playing the Sims again. Gorushka Ziaro. Okay, bye. Yes, please, go away. Welcome, creature. My name is Ziar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Let's see. Yes, let me explain it to you, even though I, I, I don't think I could fully explain it anything. <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Okay, then. This is a little weird. Oh. Alrighty, then. I will admit. I've heard many a story from a ten-year-old going on and on, but this is really intricate. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A uh, seeker of truth. Very common of the Bow family. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with a passion for life. I see great louve towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat! Protector of the gates. Interesting. Why does everybody know about me? Because they're all in your head, Fran. Be quiet. It's a long story. I see something else. The sea doesn't he day anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. See, I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. Well, aren't you greedy? You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. A am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. What? Okay. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still works. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home, eh? Yes, I do, sir. Oh, you're a man. Never mind, then. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? For some reason, I assumed you were the queen. Ah, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ethertha. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you to go home, eh, so grot? The seed told me your story. 
You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be simply- Oh, I see. You're very brave, but shut up. I just want to go home. Please, help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door. That will take you home, eh? But it's your own dash to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is the door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First, cranberries. I think, friend, you might be able to talk and walk. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring a human body back. Only the great wizard. Oh my god, are we in the land of Oz? But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. And cranberries! You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Don't mind the spit. Think of it as a delicious cranberry. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand or something, maybe. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand? Oh, excuse me. You understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need that fruit, Mr. Midnight. Cranberries are for humans and trees. Our land is based on fragrances and sounds. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you answers or tell you anything for that matter. I'm not going to do much. I'm going to sit here and think about cranberries. Now it's time for the procedure. I forgot. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, depends on the height. Why? I did fall and became a tree. Take her up there immediately. Throw her off the balcony. Uh, oh. Hi. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'm almost as crazy as you are. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Okay. That God. That bug's got sexy legs. And it's weirding me out. Okay, then. Little bizarre. I mean, everything is very bizarre, but that was a little bizarre. Okay, thank you. Oh, hi. W is this the never-ending st- Oh, hello. Good day, my name is Palantris, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. I mean, human. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. It's so weird. Oh, a human. Wait. Oh, a human. I think I can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the bowels of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Okay, fine then. This is, this is so interesting. Like, it's bizarre and weird, but for some reason, I'm like really into it right now. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, okay. Have fun drowning. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. And I guess I will without arms and legs. Thank you. This is my home. It's well, oh. The spirit of the great Volakis created it. Don't worry, you don't know him. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Or at least up here. I don't know where it come from. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing or something. Let's see, when do we start? So when do I get my arms and legs back? Never? Oh, all right. We wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. All right. Uh, so who is this Velakis and how's the weather? Haven't you heard about the five realities? No. He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell or something, I don't know. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. 
He was all alone. Sadness filled his soul. But it came to Ethersta, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. I ain't gonna bother you with it anymore. Wow, that sounds grand, I think. I didn't follow any of that. I'm ten, and also I'm a tree. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. I'm just gonna believe you on this one. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Ithrasta? My kitty and I, we were on our way back home, and then we were fighting the darkness, I guess, and we fell a long way. And I'm so pure, and now I'm in here. Maybe I'm Balakitha. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. I think. Anyway, I don't know. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this, but you know, we got nothing to do but talk, so might as well talk about something. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? That's kind of the biggest mystery here, and I'm weirded out by why I'm accepting it so much. Yes! Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. I'm just making this up as I go along. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. Well, you wanted to keep being friends. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memory with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I don't even know where this is, but it's pure. I did this to- oh, sorry. I did this to myself. I'm having fun with that voice. I did this to myself? Wow. But, Helantris, sir. I didn't understand any of that because I'm ten. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. Again, ten. On a lot of drugs. Lots of drugs. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, you must be a demon. When you traveled to Ethertha, you opened a door between your realities and ours. This made up fantasy world. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. Probably. I don't know. Something fell, I guess. Five realities. I don't know. I'm getting mixed up now. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. But I mean, or something like that. I'll become evil. And there is only one who will like to pause in the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. I'm not racist. Oh, oh, just thinking about it makes me weepy in my eyes. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. I'll stop it. I'll send you to the abyss. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did, whatever I did. I don't know why I did it. For my own survival, I ruined all of your existence. Sorry. Oh, little girl, you're so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I do, because I'm about to end your existence. I think you're very special. Well, let's concentrate on your obelies, all right? Mmm, okay, Doctor, I still don't have them yet. I've been sitting in this water a long time. What did you say this water was made out of? Here, yeah, I'll told you of the sun. Spirit of the water, give friend her obelies. Oh, you mean you could have said that at any time? Well, that would have been awfully nice if you could have- Oh! How do you feel, friend from Ethesta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. Oh no, I'm not gonna talk like her, him, the king. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. Also, they're dead. Very sad. You're the best doctor I've ever had, and I haven't had many, cause I'm ten. And you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. Oh, I did have another doctor, but he was evil. His name was Dr. Dearn. But he was an evil old man, I already said that. An old man? Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules, as everyone should do, and never question society. Oh, time. Let go now. I'll leave you at the stay hill. Oh, girl! Sorry, I fly by the power of grunting. Yeah! There we go. Here we 
are again. Show the Earth King what an Earth is sustained you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. Your accent is a little heavy, so I didn't actually understand anything, and I was delirious from being turned into a tree. But you have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely, and I'll try to work on my new Goodbye. Okay, bye. Front flying powers. It's a real thing. Probably. I don't know. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? <laughs> no, no, no fruit for you. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. Ah, what a great Earthanite you've become. Uh, you mean a Earthanite? Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible and hard to understand. He made magic with the water, even though he didn't really do anything and he could have said those words a lot sooner. Oh well. But he was sad. He told me many things. But I don't quite understand how I ruined all of your lives. Don't worry, Pilatra will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can go back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard of Oz is the only one who can bring your human body back. And he has a stone haze that can open a eh, the door eh, that will lead you home hey. Eh? Sir, are you putting more inflections on things intentionally? Where's the wizard? What stones? I don't get any of this. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you want to know everything. <laughs> I haven't left in 50 years, but that's besides the point. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. Want another fruit from my mouth? The Great Wizard lived in the Great Mountain. Court, 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 trim. That one. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? And what was his name again? What mountain did he live in? Ah, it's not important. We don't need to. It's, it's very logical. Just shut up and stop questioning everything. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. Uh, we can do that ourselves. I made fruit come out of my mouth. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain you said? What was the name of it? Come on. What are your facts? Uh, you, you, you'll have to ask around. Just, just follow the sign. I'll be here thinking about things. You go on. I, I have to go. Uh, goodbye forever. I'll, I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Goodbye! Goodbye! Have a great day, Thurston. and good luck finding the Great Withered. Okay, uh, good sayonara! Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Palantris. He fixed me, I think. Yes. It's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Yay, I got my purse back. I wonder if there's anything still in it. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake. Next to your clothes. Uh, well, we have other things to do anyway. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Can't remember the name. He didn't seem very decisive about it. Yes, mountain... Mountain... The gray wizard lives there. Let's go. Alrighty then. You told me that we have to find Mountain Coltrim and the Great Wizard. Oh, okay. So I already told you that. Okay, so I have... things. Oh, God. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses could not show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Well, that's... Interesting. Are these actual poems? My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood I've always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got to response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Oh, okay. Oh. Right? Yes, I definitely can. That sounds a lot like me. Oh, hey. December 17th. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Yes, I can see the black shadows. Oh. Cry because it hurts? Ugh. Creepy. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. 
I thought it was an angel. It's his name. His, its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the Stone of Wisdom inside my head. Maybe this is the book of the Great Wizard. Great Wizard. I can see myself around. The others, the other me, tell me lies, talks about all, my, all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me, he wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas. The race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell in their body until the very end. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe the water may purify them. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying the little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into something, a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my mind. I Thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Ithurster awaits. All the Lorcus must go there after waking up. If you wish to see me, the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. What? I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithursta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all the answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Velakis invitation. Since I saw the Velakis, I kept seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me. Because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Well, that's sad. My body and mind are being, beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Wow. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden, grunting weirdly through the night sky. It was bizarre. Then he disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside it in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to be rid of the unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on the dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at a very high speed. Did they know about bacteria back in 1876? Oh well, not time to question that. I dream of a thousand black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at me, sleep. Beings in Inthursta are varied, from roots to giant insects. The roots are the very first in this reality, insects came later, I learned the language and numerology. Dang. Whoa. Alphabet. Great. Volakis. In the beginning of the first reality, how much is there here? Creation of Great Volakis. Beginning in Inthursta feels like you becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off tree and water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, F-R-E-E. -E. Besides, in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practiceness of will. Synercity, the end of vibration, when both ends of the opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. Wow. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. 
That's why they look like they're growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. And that's the end. The drawing to the left looks like an antenna, and then somebody ripped out the rest of the book. But there's a pattern. Man, that was a ride! That was a trippy ride! Whoa, okay. I, I'm gonna find out um, just a little more here. Hello, sexy legs! How you doing? Should I call you Slegs? But another character's already okay. No, no, you can't get in its clues. Sorry, I just want to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library of Koth, but it's closed. Uh, come back in fall or winter, then it will be open if you survive that long. What was that last part? Nothing! Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see, Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. Or, the water did. He didn't really do much. Yes, and not the head. Very positive. Uh, <laughs> yes. But why is the library closed, sir? That's the important question that I want to know right now. Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Bethesda, we open. And I stand here for the rest of the time. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Remember that. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? That, of course we learn, you little brat. We learn all the time. I'm very smart. I'm learning now that you like to ask so many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Aren't you being a little obtuse? I guess you're not from around here. I'll be there. I hope I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Thanks, sexy legs. Goodbye now. So many characters that I gotta remember here. Let's see. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Sorry, I had to burp. Okay, so I think that's all the time for this episode. I did want to say before I ended this that this is getting so weird. It's taking us so many different directions that I had no idea that this game was ta would ever take. Like, I can't imagine the creative process behind writing the story. I bet that, in and of itself, is a pretty cool story. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get back to this real soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Yeah, I'm ready! I already feel the urge. I'm ready. So the idea is that after we set up all the fences up here, we go down there, hide, and then hopefully lock it.